welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in again thank you for the support so far and um, I'm super excited to connect with you I'm super excited to make this video um, if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe and turn on your notification button so that next time I drop a video you get notified yeah so today I'm going to be talking about dining etiquette yeah yeah, and uh, the reason why I'm going to be talking about this is because I have personally faced, um, will I call it a challenge? Or, yeah, we can call it a challenge. Yeah, I personally faced this challenge when it comes to dining etiquette, specifically um, with respect to using fork and knife to eat in public places. If you are alone, of course, you can use your right hand, use your spoon to eat, but when you are in a public place, uh, place or you are in a business setting, an executive setting, where um you are you are meeting with dignitaries you know you don't want to go there and then use your spoon to eat when there's fork there there's knife there and then when it's time to eat your meat they just put your hand in wash your hand and put your hand in meat and although some people call it uh, you're not being hypocritical like you're not being and you're not being an hypocrite if you are using fork and knife to eat in public places instead of or, or even using fork and knife to eat swallow instead of using your hand you're not being you are not an hypocrite the normal thing to do is to is to is to follow like culture to as in no okay i can't call it culture but at least you are in a, you are in a business environment you are meeting with dignitaries so let's say you are meeting with your with your clients and you want to eat you know will you just be eating as if you are in your uh, your village like wash your hand and then start eating that food some people start you know I, I i know some people when they want to eat um swallow they will have to roll you like i think i don't know the tribe yeah i'm not being tribalistic here but I know a very close relative that is from another state. I'm not going to mention. When they want to eat, they will roll the the swallow like this. They will roll it like this and then cut it and eat. You don't want to do that. You don't want to go and meet with dignitaries. I mean, you don't want to do that because personal branding is key. And to be honest, how you eat is a, is an integral part of your personal branding. It is very important. You can't you can't separate them. Okay, I'm meeting with um, some people for business purpose or for executive reasons or for whatever. And then you, it's time to go to the dining to eat. And then you can conveniently use your fork and your knife. I don't know if you've ever been there, but... Well, I've not been there before, but I have been with people where I need to use my fork and my knife. And then I cannot conveniently use my left hand to hold my fork and my right hand to hold my knife. So that means I use my right hand to eat. I use my right hand to pick up my... my, my, my um, okay. I use my right hand, I have my fork and my spoon here. I use my right hand to, to eat, and then I, I'm using my, when I want to cut my meat, I'll switch, I'll switch like this, and then I'm using my uh, knife to cut, and then when I want to go back to eating rice, I'll switch again. I mean, that's, that's not supposed to be the way it is. From the start, you're supposed to have your, your knife on your right hand, and then your fork on your left hand. So join me in, uh, uh as let, just watch me eat i want to show you how to use fork and knife for those people that don't know how to use fork and knife to eat the truth is there are many people that don't i was once like that i don't i didn't know how to use fork and knife i didn't i didn't know how to use fork and knife to eat like having my my, my fork on my um left hand and having my uh, my knife on my right hand and then just eating all through i i didn't know how to do that I have to switch when it gets to the point of okay, I want to eat and then I use fork to, with, on my left hand, just eating. Or uh, and then when it's time to eat meat, you know, you don't want to use your hand to eat meat like that. So you just put it, put it meat in your mouth. Then you have to switch. You have to come like this. I mean, you have to exchange it, drop the knife, then use a uh, right hand to cut the meat and then you switch it again. You use your fork to pick it. I mean, no. So, um, I want you to upgrade. I want you to upgrade. Elevate your game. Elevate your game. So, I am very sure you will learn how to use your fork and your knife in this video. And, um, do you know the beautiful thing? I'm not using, I'm not using yam. It's very easy to use yam to eat with when you have your fork. Like, you can always just like this. You can always place it and then just cut, place it, then eat. But then when it comes to rice, I mean, how do you want to do How do they do it? I always ask myself that question. I mean, how do they do it? Like, using fork. Like, and, and it, it's not like, like this, so. It's like this. Like, and it will come out and they are eaten. And then it's so nice to watch. And it's so beautiful to watch. And you can do that too. So just watch me eat. So, 
let's get into the video yeah okay so yeah we are here now we are here now i'm ready to get started so this is my lunch and i'm having chicken jello fries and salad with chopped back yeah so um now i'm going to start eating of course you have a knife on your left hand and uh, sorry your fork on the left hand and the knife on the right hand so when you want to eat let's do something like rice okay let me start from okay although rice is my example of course you know when you want to eat yam you just cut you pick it i don't have yam yet so i'm just using an example so and then you take it up you eat but now i have rice and then this one is the one that is not easy if it's bag or macaroni it's easy you can just pick it up and then eat but this is rice so what you do look at it i want to, are you seeing my 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 fork it's my hand so can you see just turn the back then place it down the back of your fork then place it down hope you can see so use your your knife to put some portion of rice at the back of your fork with time you get fast so it's not it's not this slow but then because i'm showing you you have what you have your rice you see that let me take one down the knife the back the back of your fork not this place just hold it like this see where i'm holding it this is the front this is the back place the back down like this use your uh, knife um, to put portion of rice on it take portion of rice at the back of your fork can you see it i want to place it properly yes so what do you have did you see that meat on that one still the back put your rice Don't bend down to it. Don't eat it like this. Use it. No, don't bend. You take it. And you bring it up to you. You bring it up to you. You take it. Don't bend to eat. You sit upright. The, the food comes to meet you. You don't go to meet the food, okay? So you bring the food to your mouth. You bring it to you. Do you see that? very simple just hold your knife like this place it and then take rice and then you don't even need knife actually but i'm just going to show you i just picked this without the knife and then put the back of your fork hold it like this so simple right yeah now go and try it now when it comes to chicken i have a um, chicken laps here and i have a um, chest okay i think oh both of them are laps so now to cut you know this one has bone let me show you this one has bone you can see but it's chicken chicken lap use your knife to cut use your um fork to hold it you don't drag it down back just leave it where it is leave the meat where it is on your food don't bring it close to you just leave it where it is use your knife to hold the meat Use your fork to cut it slowly. Cut it until bring it to you. Don't go down. Cut it again. Bring it to you. That's interesting, right? Let me turn that rice again. See, take your food and then bring it up to you. I have salad there, so I'm going to be eating salad too. I believe you learn. So it's as simple as that. It's not hard. So next time, please get yourself food and practice it. Don't wait until 
that the way you have executive or business meeting and you want to dine with dignitaries, then you now start you don't go and embarrass yourself. Oh, please. Personal branding is key. Don't mind those people that tell you it's hypocrisy. When you're in your house, you use spoon. When you're in your house, you use your hand. Don't mind them. Oh. You are not in your house. When you're in Rome, wisdom demands you behave like a Roman. Right? When you're in Rome, wisdom demands that you behave like a Roman. Right? So, don't go and say, uh, I don't want to be an hypocrite. Hmm. You don't want to go and eat with um, people of, of high caliber and then you want to go and be dis disgracing yourself, washing your hands to, to pick chicken. Don't do that though, please. Just use your fork, your fork rather. Hold your meat, then hold your, use your knife, cut it. Cut it on that bit. Uh, let me turn it properly so that. <laughs> hold it and then cut it. <laughs> See, this is even big. If you want to cut it again, you drop it and cut it again like this. Cut it again. That's normal cutting. And then you have it in your, in your fork, and then this is it. Very simple. Don't put your rice. Don't come changing your hand. No need. Take your food like this. Take your rice. Bring it up to you. Simple as A B C. Don't bend to go and be eating like this. It's wrong, go please. It's wrong. Just take it up and bring it to yourself. Bring it to yourself. And then I have my drink. I'm supposed to use straw for this, but I don't have straw yet, so. Don't go and be drinking as if uh, just gonna be rushing. Don't do that, please. Just drink it slowly. You have water, drink water. That's fine. So please, I hope you learn one or two things. Please, I'd like to hear from you. What else do you want me to talk about when it comes to dining etiquette? What else do you want me to make a video about? So mm, from time to time, I'm going to discuss food. I'm going to discuss how to carry yourself. Personal branding is key. I've always said that. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in to this moment. And um, okay, I think you, with time, you get to learn more. So please stay tuned again. Check the video, check the, uh, the channel again. Thank you and have a nice day. And if you are yet to subscribe, please kindly subscribe, kindly subscribe, kindly subscribe. So I am Margaret Ogede. I am an evangelist. I like saying that. I am a child of God. I am a, a, a chartered accountant. I work in a, with an audit firm. And I am an entrepreneur, a fashion entrepreneur. So entrepreneur. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you in my next video. Yeah, so before we go, what do you want me to give? Oh my god, I'm going to enjoy my food, I'm going to finish my food. So, bye.